What's going on guys? I'm Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday where we discuss relevant topics designed to make you a better warrior. What we're going to be doing in the next coming weeks is going through Miyamoto Musashi's Book of the Five Rings, specifically the Water Book. There are different books that he's written within the Book of the Five Rings. If you're not familiar with this book, in my personal opinion, it is an absolute must read for any warrior out there. You know, I think it was Mad Dog Mattis who said that a reader is a leader. And this is 100% true. Going in, exploring warrior philosophies throughout the ages can be immensely valuable. No matter whether you're a martial artist, a soldier, a civil service oriented person, whatever your stripe, whatever your flavor of warrior that you profess to be or that your profession is. Studying warfare and strategy throughout the ages, in fact, Masashi said this, is invaluable. Not only to you, but also to the men and women that you might lead. So in this Book of the Five Rings, Musashi wrote many wise words on strategy. The Water Book contains 10 precepts that he believed were essential to meditate on individually. The first precept, and I'll list right here all of the precepts that we're going to be discussing in the coming weeks. But the first precept that he thought was important to meditate on was do not think dishonestly. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, what are you talking about this for, man? Like, what are we going over morality here? In a manner of speaking, but there's a tactical advantage to studying this as well. Okay, sure, we shouldn't be dishonest. We should try to be truthful whenever tactically appropriate. Notice how I said whenever tactically appropriate. Obviously, if you're doing undercover work or something like that, being honest isn't tactically advantageous, right? But Musashi didn't say, don't be dishonest. He said, don't think dishonestly. And what I think the main point he was trying to come across with is not being dishonest with ourselves. Now, obviously we shouldn't cheat, we shouldn't lie, we should try to uphold a, a high code of ethics, a high moral code with each, 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 within each one of ourselves. This is the way of the warrior. This is what distinguishes us between the criminal or the bad guy, right? A professional warrior should have a high code of, of honor. But we really have to be very honest with ourselves. We have to be honest with ourselves with our training. Where are we succeeding? Where are we failing? Where do we need to work on more? You know, when, when we go and the guys out there who are jujitsu guys, you'll know what a discouraging art that really is. You're constantly battling with yourself, right? You'll have a good couple of roles and then a week later, you just get beat by everybody. Maybe even a white belt sweeps you and, and takes a, a submission on you. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, I can't even believe, like, what is wrong with me? Sometimes you make good progress and then your progress dips like that. It's almost like the stock market, right? <laughs> you, you need to be very honest with yourself, however, because sometimes we can fool ourselves and kid ourselves in our training and say, I'm strong, bro. What do I need? What do I need to do these extra 100 push-ups for every day, bro? Like, that's just a waste of time and energy. Well, no. No, it's not, right? Even if you are strong, you can always become stronger. You can always push yourself to be more disciplined and do things that you don't want to do. To do those 100 push-ups on your off days or even every day if you're up to it, just mentally speaking, is extremely invaluable, but not to mention the physical benefits it has as well. 
we have to be honest with ourselves and say, you know, my cardio is really not very good right now. I, I need to be running or swimming or doing something for my cardio. We need to be honest with ourselves and say, you know, my my wrestling is has gotten pretty good, but I am absolutely getting decimated with my stand up striking, and I need to train that now. I need to go back and I need to start training Muay Thai or boxing again because I'm not doing very well with it. We have to be honest with ourselves and say, you know, I just I don't know enough about the AR or AK platform. I don't know enough about it. Like people are talking about it and I'm having questions and that's not professional. I need to know my weapon. Or we say, hey, you know, I could go on and on and on with examples, right? We need to be critically honest with ourselves and say, you know, I'm, I'm fat, dude. Like, I'm getting fat. I need to stop eating so much and I need to go on some type of a diet so I can lose weight, so I can be combat effective. These are hard to do. These things are hard to do to be honest with ourselves, right? To be even honest with ourselves in relationships, it's very difficult, you know, and unless you're constantly pondering and meditating on things, and there's a, there's a fine line between doing this enough and not, not enough and too much, right? But a lot of the times until somebody calls you out and says, you know, I'll give you an example. There's a young lady that I'm friends with, and um, many months ago, she had surgery. And keep in mind, I'm just friends with her. Um, and I told her before her surgery, look, if there's anything you need, just let me know. And uh, she said, okay, thank you. So she called me, right? And uh, she said, hey, Will, can you bring a case of water by my house, dude? I'm just like, I need a case of water. And I was going out with like four women at the time. <laughs> And I just didn't, I just didn't have time. I was already stressed out balancing all of those girls for each day of the week. And then when she called me, I just, I, I didn't, I didn't come through on what I said. I forgot all about that. It's been many moons since that happened. The other day uh, I was talking to her, I, I texted her and I said something and she says, well, fuck you, dude, you're not even, you weren't even there when I needed you after my surgery. I said, what are you talking about? And she, she reminded me and I said, fuck, like, you're right. That was completely my fault. I'm going to make it up to you however you want. Like, I apologize, that was incredibly selfish of me and it was. Sometimes we do these types of things where we're not living up to what we want to be and we don't even realize it. And again, it's not until somebody actually has the courage to call us out on things that we actually realize what we've done wrong. However, we need to be mentally strong enough to say, you know what, that was absolutely wrong. I have to make it up to not only this individual, but myself now as well. I have to be better next time in the next situation where this happens. I can't let myself fall to this level of selfishness ever again. We have to be honest with ourselves. We can't be dishonest with ourselves and say, it's okay, I was just really busy and like, whatever, whatever. No, no, maybe you were busy, but it doesn't, it's not an excuse to ignore your friendships like that and your responsibilities to another person. We have to be honest with ourselves when we have people fall away from us. Sometimes in life, there's a lot of people and you have many acquaintances, friendships, whatever, and sometimes you have less. But we need to be honest with ourselves and say, well, why? Why, okay, why is this happening? Is there something that I am doing? Is there some character flaw, character default within myself that is driving people away? And we have to analyze that. We have to be willing to be honest with ourselves. Now, maybe, it's just the time of the season, right? Maybe there's not too, too much we can come up with that's actually happening to push others away. But maybe there is. Maybe we meditate on it and we say, you know what, I've really been, this is whatever this behavior is, is just pushing people away. It's a toxic behavior, it's whatever. I have to fix that now. These are just small examples. Interpersonal examples, you know. I gave you some, some some training examples, 
And we'll talk about Musashi's next preset in the next Warrior uh, Wednesday. The way is in training and how we can actually fix most of this through training. That, that's for another talk. And I think it'll tie in these nicely. We have to be honest with ourselves. <clears throat> Sometimes in dating, this happens where we come and we find out that, hey, like this, this person was, I don't really ever have people cheating on me personally, but like, not that I know of at least, but sometimes it does happen. And we have to be willing and, and honest with ourselves enough to say, all right, well that person's a fucking scumbag for doing that, but why? What did I do, if anything, that drove them to that? We have to be honest with ourselves at all times in order to better ourselves. Not only as a man, not only as an individual, but also as a warrior. Sometimes you have to be honest with yourself and say, you know, I'm just not really cut out for this discipline of fighting. I'm going to continue to practice it. I'm going to continue to get better at it. But I realize that it is not my strength. Therefore, I will have to put extra effort into it. In my case, that would be, that would be grappling. I've gotten way better at it over the years, but it's not what I'm built for, man. It's just with my body type, it's not what I'm personally built for. But again, this is not about me. We have to be honest with ourselves, And so we say, oh, grappling is not my strong suit. I'm better with my longer limbs suited for striking. Or maybe I'm flexible and I can kick well. I'm honest with myself and I understand this about myself. That doesn't give me an excuse to quit it. That means I have to work even harder at it to develop myself even more. Oh, I'm not bringing enough money in. Why? What is my excuse? Am I being lazy? Is my job shitty? Do I need to be more, more diligent and thoughtful about perhaps doing what I have to do to make a second income or find a better career? Being honest with ourselves isn't fun. It's something that only strong people can do. And I know that you are a strong person because you're watching this. I mean, your average person does not watch this stuff. They could care less. They will be watching the entertainment stuff. They will be watching the celebrity stuff. They will be watching the, the viral stuff about that has some titties in it and ass, right? They they will be they will be distracting themselves with some bullshit. Maybe they'll watch the UFC highlights, right? But they won't dive into how do we actually how do we not just watch men fight? How do we become a man that is worth stepping into the cage with? How do we not be entertained? But how do we grow? How do we make ourselves better? This is you. This is you. This is not most people. This is Less than, I'd say, 3% of people out there. Maybe five if you want to be generous. You are in a very small percentile of men, and I say men because generally speaking, it's men who watch this channel, but I will include women too. You are in a very small percentile of men and women that actually care enough to try to better themselves. So you have that going for you already. And when you can learn, when we can learn, To never be dishonest in our thinking. This will bring us to a whole new level. I guarantee it. So go out there and practice that warrior. Meditate on these things well, as Musashi would say. We have to continuously strive towards bettering ourselves mentally, physically, spiritually. And this is an ever-present process that never stops. So never stop, warrior. Go out there. Meditate on these things. Put them into practice. And please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. I'll see you in the next Warrior Wednesday where we will be discussing the way of training. Cheers, my friends.